the wonderful world of science. Children are full of curiosity to know about everything they see around them. Anu, a class sixth student, wants to know about many things she has seen in her environment. Anu and her friends have started exploring their surroundings and asking questions to their parents and teachers. To explore and know about our environment or surroundings, we use many approaches. One such approach is inquiry-based learning. Inquiry-based learning, also spelled as inquiry-based learning, is a form of active learning that starts by posing questions, problems, or scenarios. It contrasts with the traditional education which generally relies on the teacher presenting the facts and his or her knowledge about the subject. Inquiry-based learning is often assisted by a facilitator rather than a lecturer or teacher. The student identifies a problem like, why did the pen stop writing? The teacher helps the student by opening the pen to find out whether the ink is finished or dried up. This method includes problem-based learning and is commonly used in small-scale investigations, projects and research to satisfy the inquisitive thrust of the child. Inquiry-based instruction is closely related to the development and practice of thinking and problem-solving skills. It is a method commonly used for teaching science. Students are curious to understand what is happening around them and why. Anyone who tries to find answers to such problems in a scientific way is like a scientist. An electrician always tries to find out why a light bulb is not working. Is there a problem with the bulb or the switch? He is also like a scientist. To understand and learn about everything that happens around us, we study a subject called science. Welcome to the world of science. Science is the study of knowledge and understanding of the natural and physical world. The word science is derived from the Latin word scientia, which means knowledge. Science is also a form of observation of what is happening around us. For example, plants grow day and night and we observe changes over a particular interval of time. When a seed changes into a sapling, then into a small plant and then into a big plant, this continuous process of observation and analysis is a part of science. Science is a way of thinking, observing and doing things to uncover the secrets of our surroundings. To learn science, the most important thing is to have curiosity. Whether it is learning about the leaves or a forest, a small insect or a big whale, a pinch of soil or a big rock, there is always something new and exciting. This science book comprises 12 chapters. There are several opportunities for students to explore the world of science. Through this book, the students will connect scientifically with all the changes they observe in nature or the world around them. This book provides an opportunity for the students to create new ideas and to think more deeply about the activities going on around them. We see a lot of things around us like a plastic scale, a metal keychain, a paper cup, the clothes we wear, a sticker with a magnet and many other things. We often ask ourselves what they all are made up of. How can we understand various materials present around us? The science book will help us to explore these mysteries. The scientific process depicts 
the steps or procedures involved in scientific activities. The primary objective of this book is to increase awareness among students about various issues such as gender, environment, region, health, hygiene, the need of trees, water and energy in life. As the name of the book suggests, together with eScience 6, students should enhance their knowledge by exploring and observing their surroundings using information and technology with the help of quick response QR codes. This makes learning more interactive and enjoyable. The child will better understand changes taking place in daily life like problems in the tires of his bicycle, sudden bulb fuses, sparks produced in plugs, etc. By knowing the actual reasons for daily life problems he or she face, the scientific reasons behind them will be clear to him or her. Many of you are interested in watching the night sky, whether from the roof of your home or during a night camping trip at your school. You have seen many bright stars shining in the sky and by joining them with imaginary lines, you have observed various shapes of animals or objects. How exciting it is to study such far off objects. Science helps us to unravel such mysteries. Science is everywhere, from living things to non-living things, from plants to animals, from the depths of the oceans to outer space. It is an unending jigsaw puzzle. Science education is the teaching and learning of science for school children, college students or adults within the general public. The field of science education includes work in scientific content, scientific processes such as the scientific method, social sciences and pedagogies. The standards for science education outline expectations for students understanding throughout their entire school education and beyond. The traditional subjects included in the standards are physical, life, earth, space and human sciences. Activity 1. A group of students was given various tasks to understand the scientific method. Priyal and Anju will observe the growth of a plant from the day when the seed of a tomato plant is sown in a big pot. They also have to water it on a daily basis. Arunita and Akhil will record the growth of the plant within a period of 30 to 40 days. Bhavya and Naman will analyze the growth of the plant from seed to fruit. The teacher will conclude that all these steps are parts of the scientific method and it is a way to give science education. After one day, after 10 days, after 20 days, after 30 days. Hence, the scientific method has various steps. Our Earth is a unique planet because of its appropriate distance from the sun, its favorable temperature and the availability of water. It is the only known planet in the solar system that supports life. It has an environment that we must protect. There is a variety of plants and animals found in various parts of the earth. Plants and animals grow with time. To grow, they need food to eat. Different parts of the earth and even various regions within the same country have different types of food available and cooked in different ways. Along with food, water is also essential for survival and growth. 
Water changes its states. It freezes when cooled and becomes steam when heated. There are many things that you learn in this subject that sometimes amaze you and open your eyes to the way you view things and the changes occurring around you. This systematic way of looking at changes is called science. Science is a strict, systematic discipline that builds and organizes knowledge in the form of testable hypotheses and predictions about the world. In the scientific method, the steps that need to be followed are Number one, observation. Number two, understanding and collection of data. Number three, analysis of observation or data collected. Number four, conclusion or results. Hence, science is not just about memorizing information, facts, conducting inquiries or performing experiments. It is about following a series of steps to find answers to questions. Scientists are those people who follow the scientific method to understand changes in the world, discover new things and solve problems. Activity 2. To learn about the life cycle of a butterfly, ask your teacher to arrange some eggs of a butterfly to the school laboratory or school garden. Life cycle of a butterfly. Egg to caterpillar or larva to chrysalis or pupa to adult to butterfly. Number one, students will carefully observe them for a few days. Number two, students will observe the change from eggs to caterpillars or larvae and then to chrysalides. Number three, in a few days, the pupae will form, which further grow into adult butterflies. Students will observe the stages of the life cycle of a butterfly. They will record, draw pictures, and learn about them for a lifetime. This is a basic example of the scientific method. Activity three. To learn how to observe things happening around us in a scientific way, the teacher may take the students to the nearest farm. There, they can see hens laying eggs in their coop. Students will be curious to learn how those eggs will change into hens. The teacher can show students various stages when the hen lay eggs in a coop or at some other places. They will observe how the eggshell breaks and chicks come out. Students will be excited to see this and will share with their friends that the chicks do not have wings. Then the teacher may take them to another coop where grown baby chicks with small wings will be trying to fly. The children learn the process of a chick's growth from the initial birth stage through observation, analysis and understanding, which is science. The world is full of things we do not know. These are waiting to be explained. And the first-hand experience which the students get is thrilling. Teamwork is always appreciated and can lead us to success in all assignments. During the pandemic, COVID-19, all scientists worked together to find a vaccine or treatment to combat this deadly disease and save humanity. So, if you cannot find a solution to your questions, ask your friends and seniors or search for information on the internet. Science is all about joyful exploration, following your instincts, observing everything around you carefully, noting down important information, gathering more related facts, analyzing and finding answers to your questions. 
some renowned scientists of India and their tremendous work. First, M. Vishweshwaraya. He was a civil engineer and a statesman. He was responsible for designing many structures like dams, bridges, and water supply systems. He was also a leader who helped India grow. Second, Homi J. Bhabha. He was a pioneering Indian scientist in nuclear physics and led India's atomic energy program. Third, Dr. Jagadish Chandra Bose. He was a pioneering Indian scientist known for his work in plant physiology and radio science demonstrating plant responses and enabling wireless communication significantly impacting science and technology. Fourth, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. He was one of the most notable Indian scientists. He was not only a renowned aerospace engineer, but also served as the 11th president of India. Dr. Kalam played a very important role in India's civilian space program and military missile development. His contributions to science and technology coupled with his inspiring vision earned him the nickname People's President and left a lasting impact on the scientific community in India. Activity 4 Asta was going to school on her bicycle. Suddenly, she heard a little whisper-like voice at her back and saw her bicycle's tire flattened. She was then trying to find out why the tire has gone flat. She went to a nearby cycle repairing shop. The cycle mechanic helped her by taking out the tube from the tire, filling it with air through an air pump and rolling it in a water-filled bucket. The bubbles came out from the portion where there was a hole. He used a paste and a flat rubber piece which he pasted on the hole and put the tube in the tire and refilled it with air. The bicycle was now ready. Asta observed the whole process and found the solution to her flat tire. The mechanic is also a scientist. Not every student is going to learn the same amount from a scientific inquiry lesson. Students must be interested in the topic of study to effectively reach the set learning goals. Teachers must be prepared to ask students some questions to probe their thinking processes in order to assess their knowledge accurately. Inquiry science requires a lot of time, effort, and expertise. However, the benefits outweigh the cost when true, authentic learning takes place. Science is all about joyful exploration.